I woke up to find Zeus, the god of thunder, attacking our island. Medusa, you must challenge the six champions of the gods. The Satyr, Hermes Angel, Poseidon's Hydra, Ares Cyclops, Serbius, and the Sphinx. If you wish to fulfill the prophecy and if Beat me! If you fail, I will wipe out every last Medusa from the face of the earth. Cilio, hide and stay as quiet as possible. I hid behind a pillar as I watched Zeus slay my friends. A chain of lightning tied around my mother. She and Zeus suddenly vanished into thin air. Mom, come back! I was so angry. I vowed to get revenge on Zeus and all of the gods. I reached land when suddenly I heard hissing and discovered snakes on my head. Ah! Relax, Celio. We mean no harm. They gave me warm hugs so I didn't feel so alone. I think we'll be great friends. On day two, I began to walk through the world on my own when I spotted a village. Hello? Is anyone there? The villagers left their homes to see what was going on, but every time my eyes met with theirs, they turned to stone. Did I do that? I don't want to hurt these humans. It seemed as though I had the power to turn other creatures to stone. I kept walking until my feet were tired. I need a break. I suddenly woke up from my slumber to find a bunch of baby spiders attacking me. Their teeth were very sharp. Ah, that hurts. I tried to fight off the spiders using my petrifying abilities, but there were too many of them. Because I was stuck under a tree, it was easy for them to surround me. Help me! On day three, I was fighting for my life against the ruthless spiders. I was on the verge of death, when suddenly a young human emerged from the trees. He had a cool magical staff and started beating up the spiders with divine magic. I had just enough strength to join him in the fight. You're going down, spiders! With the help of this human, we managed to defeat most of the spiders. But a few stragglers ran away. This human was a kid, just like me. But he didn't turn to stone like the other humans. Hello. I heard you call for help. My name's Tiresias. I'm a prophet. A prophet? So you can see into the future and stuff? And why did you not turn to stone when you saw me? Oh, you must be a Medusa. Well, I'm blind, so I can't see anything. Your powers don't work on me. I told Tiresias about how Zeus kidnapped my mom and that I had a mission to rescue her. Hmm, Zeus, Medusa, let me see. Oh yeah, I see it now. The gods are rounding up all Medusas in the city of the gods. Olympus. The only way to enter is by challenging the six champions of the gods. A hero brave enough to collect the artifacts they guard will be granted entry into Olympus. That must be where they're keeping my mom. If that's what it takes to rescue her, then I'm in. Let's find a place to settle down before you get started on your adventure. On days four through six, Tiresias and I collected basic materials in the forest. We wanted a source of food and wood tools to mine for resources later. While we were walking, I discovered a giant tree surrounded by a bunch of mushrooms in the middle of a clearing. It kind of looked like a face. Hey, Tiresias, there's a massive tree right here that I think could look cool as our new house. We can use these mushrooms as our food source. If you say so, I trust your judgment. I'll help where I can. Once we gathered the mushrooms and made a wooden axe, I started carving out the base of the tree and shaped it into the head of a Medusa. I built an additional room next door, a bedroom for Tiresias with a space for him to meditate and envision his prophecy. I wanted these extra rooms to look like the snakes of a Medusa head. Those rooms look like snakes. That's the point. Guys, settle down. I still have a long way to go. Uh, Celio, now that we have somewhere to live, you should think about finding one of the champions soon. Yeah, you're right, but I need to sleep first. This building has made me exhausted. On days 7 through 8, I woke up to a knock at the front door. I was half asleep from the previous day, but I still got out of bed to see what was going on. When I opened the door, no one was outside. Hello? Is anyone out there? That's weird. Maybe someone ding dong ditched you. It could have been the wind. I was about to close the door when one of my snakes noticed something on the ground. Hey, what's that? 
A strange looking gold leaf had been placed on my welcome mat. I carefully picked up the leaf and inspected it. Where did this leaf come from? What kind of trees have golden leaves? I went to find Tiresias in his room and told him about what I had found. Ah, gold leaf. Let me see if I have any visions about gold leaves. Interesting. That leaf originates from the golden trees of Dionysus Forest. That's likely where his artifact and satyrs are. You should check it out. Great idea! I'm off to find some satyrs. On days 9 through 11, I set off to find Dionysus' forest. As I traveled through the woods near my house, the trees started turning different colors, from shades of green to orange, and finally to gold. These golden trees reminded me of the leaf I found. I must be getting close to my destination. We've made it to Dionysus' forest. Now let's find those satyrs. I continued to walk through this mysterious forest. As I took another step, I suddenly felt the ground give in, and I found myself falling through a massive pit. <gasps> it's a trap. You think so, genius? I tried to pull myself out of the pit, but I was stuck. The ground below me began to sink. I looked around for a way to escape and found a rope of vine at the edge of the pit. I need to get out of here. I used all of my strength to pull my feet out of the sinkhole. I grabbed onto the vines and climbed out of the pit. That was a close one. As I walked deeper into the forest, the magical feeling from before became more creepy. The trees were cramped together and I could barely see. I have a bad feeling about this. Now, I couldn't tell where I was going or where I'd come from. I was completely lost. I continued to traverse the dense forest on days 12 through 15, when out of nowhere, I heard soft music from beyond the trees. There was someone nearby. I walked into an open garden and the music grew louder. I saw a group of deer people dancing around a big table of food. Hey there, are you here to join the party? That wasn't the plan. Are you satyrs? Yeah, we are. You should really join us. We're having a lot of fun here. They offered me snacks and drinks. I did not want to accept because they were mischievous satyrs, but I was hungry from traveling and it looked so delicious. I took a little bite. This is tasty. Join in the party, little Medusa. I was entranced and ate more food than my stomach could handle. We partied and danced through the night. I was having such a good time that my memory was fading. Wait, why am I here? I wasn't just here to party with some satyrs, right? Don't I have a mission? This is a really fun party. There's nothing to worry about. Celio, you've been brainwashed to stay at this party. Remember your mom? She needs your help. I looked at the joyous satyrs and realized that I would be much happier if my mom were here with me. This isn't right. I need to defeat you guys. You're the champions of Dionysus. I need the artifact you're guarding. The satyrs suddenly stopped celebrating. So, you've discovered our trick, little Medusa. I have a challenge for you. What is your challenge? The satyr told me that if he won, I would remain at the party forever. But if I won, he would accept defeat and lead me to the location of his god's artifact. I accept this challenge. I was suddenly teleported to a strange alternate dimension on days 16 through 18. It looked just like the garden party, but we were floating on an island. I then saw a glowing door nearby, but it was only accessible by a floating parkour course. I ran to jump on the grassy platforms, but as I left the island, I felt nauseous and the world spun around me. I don't feel so good. You couldn't do it, Celio. I pushed past my aching head and continued on the parkour. I jumped from one platform to the next and tried not to look down into the endless abyss of the void. I nearly slipped off one of the blocks, but I caught myself before I fell off. I finally reached the glowing door, and as I opened it, I appeared back in the forest of Dionysus, and I wasn't dizzy anymore. Wow, you made it. 
I admit, we've been defeated. By defeating the satyrs, I grew into a bigger Medusa and gained five hearts. I'm not a baby Medusa anymore. I could also use my petrification to turn more than one creature into a stone at once. Since the satyrs were very respectful of my win, I decided not to turn them to stone. The satyr from before agreed to lead me to where they were hiding the Staff of Dionysus. As we approached a nearby magical tree, there was a glowing light from inside the trunk. Think of the Staff of Dionysus and you can retrieve it. I stuck my hand into the glowing light and retrieved a cool wooden staff. This staff has the power to summon vines. Can't you stay at the party anyways and teach us your dance moves? I wish I could, but I have a mission to complete. Now, I had one of the six artifacts. I began to travel back to the base on days 19 through 21. I avoided the pit trap by creating a bridge of vines with my new staff. While in the forest, I heard someone crying. I went to investigate and found a small minotaur child. Hey kid, are you okay? What's your name? I'm Jason. Please, Medusa, can you help me? Yeah, of course, Jason. What do you need? Evil humans kidnapped my dad and took him to their village. He did nothing wrong. They're just afraid of us. Can you save him? I know how it feels. If these humans have captured your dad, then I need to do something about it. You'll help my dad? Thank you so much. The village is that way. Jason pointed me in the direction of the human town. I snuck over to see what was going on. I saw a group of humans gathered around a giant stone box. They were laughing and pointing at the box. Hey! Humans, you'll pay for hurting an innocent creature. The humans turned to look at me, and they were all suddenly turned into stone. That was awesome. Wait, everyone is stone now. No one told me where they trapped the Minotaur. Just then, I heard a roar from inside the box. Jason, they must have put your dad inside that strange box. Oh no, please save him. I wasted no time and ran into the box to find that the humans had created a giant maze. On days 22 through 25, I entered the Minotaur's maze. It's just a maze. How hard can this be? To not get lost in this maze, I threw rocks on the ground. After walking around, I eventually encountered a crossroads. Which way do I go now? Hug the right wall. No, go wherever you want. I stayed on the right side of the wall, but I realized that I was in the same place as before. I just went in a loop. Maybe it's some kind of trick. Try going down the other path. I walked for what seemed like ages, but ended up in the same spot. Huh? I went through a third path and found myself where I started. One more try, and then that's it. I took the fourth and final path and arrived back at the crossroads. I can't do this anymore. This maze is endless. I'll never find the Minotaur, and now I'm stuck in here too. I'll never be able to rescue my mom. I got so angry that I hit my head against the stone bricks. But to my surprise, I charged through an invisible wall into another room. Wait. I could have just gone through the wall this whole time? At that moment, I got pushed to the ground. A large minotaur stood above me, ready to strike. Who are you? Wait, I don't want to hurt you. I'm Celio, a Medusa. Your son, Jason, asked me to help save you. My son, Jason? How can I trust you telling me the truth? Are you working with the humans? No, I just turned all the humans into stone statues. So I'm on your side. I have this mission to save my mom, and I felt bad for Jason losing his dad. He cares about you. All right, I believe you have good intentions. I'm Bronn. I assume you know how to leave this room if you were able to get in. I led Bronn the Minotaur back through the hidden wall and into the maze. I could tell that mazes weren't his thing, and he was getting frustrated by all the corners. On days 26 to 29, Bronn and I escaped the maze and reunited with Jason. My boy, thank goodness you're okay. Those humans didn't hurt you, right? I'm okay, Dad. The Medusa was very nice and agreed to help me. How can we repay you? Your alliance in my quest against the gods would be more than helpful. They agreed, and I brought my new minotaur friends to my treehouse base. Together, Bronn and his son built a couple of new rooms to live in, but they preferred the open spaces of the forest. It was just to their liking. Celio, I heard you brought more allies for our cause. I did. Oh, before I forget, is there anything you could tell me about the next artifact? Hmm, 
In my mind, I'm seeing white wings. You will encounter angels while on the road to find resources. The angels of Hermes! If finding these angels also means getting more materials, I can knock out two birds with one stone. Or two angels with one. On days 30 and 31, I went exploring and gathered iron in the mines. Using the iron I mined, I crafted full iron armor and weapons, just in case I ran into any more danger. As I began to return to the base, I hadn't seen a single angel. I lost hope that I would encounter them, as Tiresias told me. But then, I heard a voice from behind me. Stop right there, Medusa! We're going to need you to come with us. Before I could turn around, a powerful spell was cast on me, and I blacked out. On days 32 through 34, I woke up in a large office, and Hermes, the messenger god, sat at a desk in front of me. Hermes? I know you don't like Zeus. I'm here to send him a message from you if you want. A message? Uh, I just want my mom back. He was mean for taking her away from me. That's it? All right. And he was gone in the blink of an eye. He vanished. Well, he is a god. An angel warrior suddenly stormed into the room and took out a pair of handcuffs. Hermes and the angels have placed you under arrest for being of Medusa origin. Zeus, king of the gods, requires all of the Medusas to be held as prisoners. Wait, you can't do this. Are you going to stop me? Yes, I am. On days 35 and 36, I went into combat with the warrior angel. I slashed at the angel with my new iron sword, but it didn't seem like it did any damage. Just surrender, Medusa, and maybe you'll be spared from death. Never! I'm doing this for my mom! I kept trying to hit the angel with my sword, but it still seemed unharmed, and I was looking hurt. Celio, try using your Medusa powers. But it's an angel! I guess I can try. I decided to use my petrification ability on the angel, and it worked! The angel was beginning to turn into stone. You will not win! As the angel became a stone statue, I felt my powers growing stronger, and I gained five more hearts! Just then, I heard a clanging noise from the statue and discovered a magical wand on the ground. This must be the artifact. It looks like a magic wand. Try it out. When I used the abilities of the wand, it healed my missing hearts instantly. Something told me that this wand would only be able to heal me four times before it was destroyed, so I had to use this power wisely. Just then, another angel burst into the room. This angel didn't look as hostile as the warrior I just fought against. Mr. Angel, sir, I'm here to tell you. The angel looked at me, then at the statue of his boss, then at me again. I'm just gonna go. Before I could react, he ran right back out the door, so I decided to follow him. Him. This angel might be my only hope to escape from this place. I continued to chase the angel messenger on these 37 through 39. The angel ran through the halls of Hermes' office. We passed by angels having business meetings in other offices. I need to warn Poseidon's Hydra. Our offices are near its temple. Did they say Poseidon's Hydra? Isn't that his champion? Yeah, we need to find it as soon as possible. Another angel warrior suddenly stopped us in our path. Halt! You are not permitted here, Medusa. Yeah, because I was kidnapped by Hermes and your co-workers, and I'm just trying to get out. In that case, you'll be staying here as long as they need you. The angel menacingly pulled out its sword. Celio, the messenger is getting away. The angel messenger suddenly turned a corner, and I decided to take off running. Come back here! No thanks, I'm good. These hallways seemed like endless rows of offices, but I managed to keep up with the runaway angel. Eventually, I could see a light at the end of the tunnel. The angel ran into the light, and suddenly we were back outside in another endless biome. The desert. Damn! I chased after the angel through the desert until it reached an oasis filled with a pool of water and trees. I suddenly ducked behind a tree, hoping the angel wouldn't see me. Why are you hiding? You need to go after it. I want the angel to think that I gave up the chase. Maybe it'll lead me somewhere interesting. And my plan worked. The angel looked around the oasis and didn't see me anymore. It lowered its guard and drank some water from the oasis before continuing its mission a bit more calmly. 
I continued to try to hide behind every cactus I could, until the angel led me straight to a giant temple along the coastline. Whew, what is this place? I think we found Poseidon's temple! On days 40 to 42, I followed the messenger angel into the Grand Ocean Temple. In the middle of a large pool of water, I saw a divine trident on a pedestal. Hydra of Poseidon? I'm here to warn you that a Medusa is searching for the artifacts of the gods. That's the artifact! But where's the Hydra? Be careful, you are not defeated. A multi-headed oh. water creature suddenly leaped out of the water. It snatched the angel in one of its mouths before diving back into the water. Uh, do we have to defeat that guy? We don't have a choice. Without a second thought, I dove into the pool. I knew my target was the trident on the pedestal. I made my way towards it when I felt something large slither beneath me. The current was dragging me toward this large creature, and suddenly I saw the many menacing faces of the Hydra. They were trying to eat me like they had eaten the angel. I attempted to swim away from the Hydra on days 42 to 44. I knew my snakeheads were easily distracted, which gave me an idea. I still had rocks left from the maze and threw them across the pool. Some of the Hydra heads looked in those directions, while some were still focused on me. With the remaining heads, I swam in random patterns to draw their attention. My plan was a success. With the Hydra heads confused, it couldn't move. The Hydra sunk into the dark depths of the pool and couldn't come back up. I thought I would run out of breath and start drowning, but I realized I had defeated the Hydra and grown scales over my skin. I could now breathe underwater. I swam over to the podium and took the trident. Celio, you have scales just like us now. The trident had the power to summon and control water. I created a bridge of water to walk across. It's time to head home. On days 45 through 47, I traveled from the coast back to my base in the forest. As I walked through the lands, I confided in my snakes. I've defeated three of the six champions, and I'm more powerful than ever. I have three super useful artifacts, and I've grown into a strong Medusa. I beat up a Hydra. I feel like I can do anything now. Yeah, go Celio. Eh, don't speak too soon. I suddenly found that I had walked near the base of a very tall mountain. The top of the mountain was covered by clouds. There was a path going upward that I was curious about, so I continued to explore. The path was soon blocked off by a very tall, shining golden gate. An angel guard stood in position. He spoke to another figure, a white-winged Pegasus. You must leave. No mortal can enter Olympus. You don't understand. I need to get through. Leave at once. I encountered the Pegasus as she walked past me back down the road. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm trying to get through to Olympus and show Zeus a piece of my mind. He's using my brothers and sisters as his mounts. I just want them to be free. My mom is being held prisoner with all the other Medusas, so I understand. I'm sorry about that. I'm Celeste. I'm Celio. If you want an ally, we can take down Zeus together. Yeah, let's do it. On days 48 to 50, Celeste and I made it back home. I continued building my base and added a room for my new Pegasus friend. It was another snake's head with a balcony that she could fly out from. Thanks for building this for me. Feeling confident, I went to find Tiresias, who was meditating outside. Hey, Tiresias, I have three of the six artifacts. Fantastic. Celio, you're halfway through your mission. I found the entrance to Olympus too. Can't I just go up now? The gate was locked and guarded by angels, but there might be a key to open it. Uh, Celio, listen, we can worry about a key later. You may be more powerful than you were before, but you can't underestimate Zeus and his allies. You still need all of the artifacts to fulfill the prophecy. I don't get it. I might be powerful with these artifacts, but why is it so important that I complete this mission? Can't some other brave hero do it? I just want to save my mom. You're braver than you give yourself credit for. This is a prophecy in the stars. It is fate that we met each other and that I'm helping you on this journey. If it were not fated, wouldn't I have encountered another hero instead of you? 
I don't know. I just need time to think about all of this. I had trouble sleeping on days 51 to 53. I still thought about what Tiresias told me about fate. Soon, everything would change. I suddenly woke up in what seemed like a dream, and a godly woman in fancy robes stood in front of me. I am Athena, goddess of warriors. I've been watching you, Cilio. Over the past 50 days, you have appeared to me to be a very capable adventurer. I disagree with how Zeus has approached the prophecy. I know about the prophecy of a great hero defeating the champions of the gods, but how does that involve the Medusas? And me? The brave hero is prophesied to be a Medusa. That's why Zeus captured all of the Medusas of this world. He must have known about your mother, but not about you. Does that mean- You are the brave hero from the prophecy. It is fate. This prophecy is in the stars. I understand now. You have much potential, Cilio. That's why I left you a clue to point you in the right direction. You left me that gold leaf? Yes, I did. Zeus has maintained absolute control of Olympus for far too long. I would like you to be my champion like the champions you've defeated. I couldn't pass up an offer like this. Yeah, of course. I would be honored to be your champion. I have two more gifts. One is the location of the Cyclops of Ares. He resides in a coliseum to the north. The second gift is this pendant. She offered me a magical necklace. If you need a quick escape, hold on to this pendant very tightly and you will return to the location of your choice. This is incredible. Thank you, Athena. I suddenly woke up back in my bedroom and I still had the pendant around my neck. That wasn't a dream. Let's go fight a Cyclops. On days 54 to 58, I followed Athena's directions and made my way to Ares' Colosseum. Soon enough, I saw a huge structure on the horizon. When I arrived at the Colosseum, I found myself in the center of a battle arena. An audience cheered in the stands. Do we have another competitor in our tournament? Tournament? Yes, a competition to declare the strongest mythological creature. Well, I'm just here to defeat the champion of Ares. I heard he was here. Oh, the Cyclops is a powerful adversary and our reigning winner. To go against him, you'll have to get past the semi-finalist. Are you in? Uh, yeah? Introducing our newest competitor! Cilio! The Medusa, Cilio! Versus the plant man himself, Frank the Dryad! Dryad? A gate on the other side of the arena lifted, and a giant tree person emerged! Hey, that guy's just a tree! You've got this, Celio! But I can't use my petrifying powers on a tree! Uh-oh! Ready to get stumped. As he got closer to me, the tree person didn't seem very aggressive and was hesitant to fight me. I smacked him a couple of times with my sword, but it wasn't doing much damage. Wait, he's a tree. I can just chop him down with my axe. I sliced at the tree with my iron axe. Drake painfully accepted my attacks. When he tried to attack me with his branch arms, they completely missed. I was chopping through this tree pretty easily and got him on his knees. The crowd was amazed. Yeah, do it, Celio, you can win this. I held up my axe and the dryad accepted his death. Oh, I've been fighting so long. Please put me out of my misery. I waited, but I couldn't kill this dryad man who clearly didn't want to fight me. I'm not going to kill you, but if you need an out, let's fake your death. Really? I lifted my axe and brought it down right before touching his body. Drake pretended to die, and the crowd exploded in cheers. Wow! Our new competitor has destroyed the Dryad! Take him away! Drake's tree body was moved away by a few attendants. Now's the moment you've all been waiting for! It's time for Cilio to face the mighty Cyclops! Are you ready for a real duel? The gates opened again, 
And this time there was a giant and very angry Cyclops with a huge wooden club. Here we go. The Cyclops charged toward me, undies 59 to 61. The creature swung at me with its club, but I dodged its attacks. This guy is huge. Eh, I've seen bigger. Maybe I can turn him into stone. I used my petrifying powers on the Cyclops, but it accidentally turned his club into stone. Oh no, I think I made this worse. The Cyclops swung his stone club at me, and I touched the hits again. Wait, maybe if I hit its feet, it won't be able to stand and fight me anymore. I slashed at the monster with my sword, and soon enough, it roared in pain. With its feet in pain, the Cyclops fell to the ground, and I finished it off. Since you have defeated the Cyclops, Simeo, you have won the Sword of Ares. The Sword of Ares, a diamond weapon, appeared in my hands. But just then, I heard a loud strike of lightning. This could only mean one thing. On day 62 to 64, Zeus appeared in the middle of the arena with me. I got your message from Hermes. How could there be another Medusa in this world that I didn't know about? The prophecy cannot happen. He threw a thunderbolt toward me. It nearly hit me, but slightly burnt a couple of my snakes. Ow! I was terrified. These thunderbolts could do a lot of damage. I shall eliminate you, Cilio, and send your soul to the underworld with my brother Hades. Another huge thunderbolt strike came my way, and I got hit pretty badly. I have to run away. I will get you, Cilio. Suddenly, I felt myself get shielded from a blast. A tree covered Zeus's line of sight. It was Drake the Dryad. You were a formidable warrior and spared my life. Now I shall spare yours. Drake helped me up, and we ran as fast as we could away from Zeus. Once we were far enough from the Citadel, we stopped to catch our breaths. I took some time to calm down and heal myself from the battles using Hermes's wand. Are you all right? Yeah, I am. Thank you, Drake. If you need a place to stay, I have a house in the forest south of here with my other allies. Sorry that I can't join you myself. I have to continue my mission. I will accept your offer. I no longer have a home, as I was forced to fight in those duels. You'll meet Tiresias there. Tell him that you are a friend of Cilio. Friend? Friend. Drake began traveling south toward my base. I remained for a moment and thought about what had just happened. What should I do next? Zeus will try to hunt me down now. Tiresias was right not to underestimate him. Oh, maybe you should go somewhere Zeus won't find you. The underworld. You're right. And I can find Hades' champion there too. I then plan to find out how to get into the underworld. On days 65 and 66, I searched for an entrance into the underworld. I spotted the ghostly figure of a spirit wandering in a specific direction. That's a soul. It might be going to the underworld. I followed the spirit to a dark descending cave. It completely passed through the guards. A group of spiders led by the goddess Arachne. These were very similar to the spiders I fought on my second day. Not these spiders again. You can take them. No, he doesn't need to get into another fight right now. He still has two more champions to defeat. You've got a point. These spiders also know what I look like. What if I just pretend to be dead? Oh! I quickly disguised myself by covering my body with a bunch of dirt. I imitated the movements of the spirits I had seen and slowly wandered back to the entrance of the cave. Before I could step inside, I was suddenly stopped by Arachne. State your name and reason of death. Uh, I'm Snake. I got struck by lightning? It wasn't too far from a lie, but I wasn't sure if Arachne would believe it. Her spiders were creeping up toward me until... Enjoy your terrible eternity in the underworld, Snake. I passed Arachne and her spiders and walked the path down into the cave. Cilio, you did it! Yeah, we still gotta be careful. Who knows what other creatures may be trying to find me. I finally descended into the underworld. 
On day 67 to 69, I arrived in the underworld. It was a sad cavernous realm with wandering spirits everywhere. You still need to get some heat off your back from battling it out with Zeus. Why don't you explore and find some more resources while you're here? Great idea. I set off to find something exciting and eventually discovered a ruined structure surrounded by spirits. They didn't pay me any attention, so I slipped through unnoticed. I searched through the structure and found several unopened chests. Most of the treasure wasn't very valuable, but I did find some diamonds. My iron chest plate was running low on durability after the fights in the citadel, so I made another chest plate with my new diamonds. Any sign of a three-headed dog? Not over here! Just then, a loud, ominous voice suddenly rang out through the walls of the cave. Harpy soldiers, it is your king, Hades. I have been alerted of a trespasser within our walls. If you encounter a rogue Medusa, apprehend him as soon as possible. Oh no, he'd sent the harpies after us. Snakes hate birds, they'll eat us alive. Yeah, this isn't good. Why don't we head back and find Hades' champion as soon as possible? I returned to the spot I had started and noticed a river separating two halves of land with a bridge connecting them. The underworld is massive. How are we supposed to find this dog? At that moment, something barked loudly from across the bridge. That sounds like a dog. Let's go. I quickly crossed the bridge and hurried past other ruins before finally finding a giant dog playground. Cerberus, the three-headed dog, played with a large bone. I didn't want to be seen by the dog right away, so I stealthily searched for the artifact. Where is this fifth artifact? Ah, Celio, it might be that helmet. What I hadn't seen was that one of the dog's heads wore a magical diamond helmet. Hades' helm of darkness. And the dog had now seen me. Good boy. On day 70 to 73, Cerberus chased me around the playground. The dog heads kept snapping at my snakes. I used the staff of Dionysus to create vines and trap the dog in place. I got a couple of hits on Cerberus with my new diamond sword before the dog suddenly disappeared. Where'd it go? Cerberus suddenly appeared out of the vines and tried to bite me again. Ouch! That helmet made it turn invisible. I used all the power I could to petrify the dog, but it wasn't working. This dog is too strong to be turned to stone. I need to try something else. <laughs> you can't say Celio's having it. Rough. Not the time. I pulled out my new sword of Ares and tried slashing at the creature, but it only cut off its hair. The sword isn't doing anything either. One of the dog's heads suddenly lunged down and narrowly missed grabbing me whole. Ah. Hold on, I have an idea. Oh no, what crazy idea do you have now, Celio? I threw my old diamond sword as far as I could. Go fetch, boy. While Cerberus was distracted, I struck it from behind, knocking off the helmet from its head. With the Helm of Darkness equipped, I could now turn myself invisible. With my new powers, I was able to get the upper hand. It wasn't long before Cerberus was starting to weaken. With one last slash, Cerberus slumped to the ground and was finally slain. By defeating Cerberus, I once again grew bigger and gained five more hearts. I'm coming for you, Zeus. On day 74 to 76, an alarm blared through the walls of the underworld. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. A trio of harpies swooped down on me and pecked at my snakes. That hurts. Hades has been looking all over for you. Surrender, Medusa. Never. Come down here and face me. You're so naive. We're not going to compromise with an earth dweller like you. You want to test that? I retrieved my staff of Dionysus and targeted the group of bird soldiers on my tail. Creepy dead vines sprouted from the ground and grappled each of the harpies. They were brought straight to the ground. They struggled to escape, but the vines were holding their wings in place. I recommend you don't struggle. It'll be worse if you do. The vines will release you eventually, I think. Okay, let's get out of here now. I hurried back to the bridge, but it had completely disappeared. The only way back was across the flowing river. 
How am I supposed to get to the other side? You can try swimming! You can breathe underwater! This doesn't look like normal water. Just then, a boat with a ghostly man, Sharon the Ferryman, sailed up to the shore. Did someone say they needed a ride? Yeah, I do. Hmm, you're immortal. You shouldn't be here. Well, I don't want to be here anymore. I just defeated Cerberus, but the bridge I walked across to get here is gone. I suppose I can ferry you across. Open! On day 77 to 80, Sharon rowed me across the Styx River. I looked into the waters and saw my reflection and millions of ghostly spirits below the surface. I hope my mom isn't one of those spirits. Ugh, I've got to save her. You've come so far, but you look so sad. I just want my mom to be okay. It's okay, Celio. We'll complete the prophecy. You'll be successful and free the Medusas. The boat suddenly stopped midway into the river. Why did you stop rowing? Cilio, well, well, you must be the Medusa from the prophecy. I didn't realize you'd be getting such a huge reward today. The spirits began to rise from the sides of the boat and grab onto me. Hades told me to look out for the Medusa Cilio and eliminate him. Good luck escaping the underworld now. Sharon vanished and I was stuck in the boat all by myself. The souls in the river continued to try to pull my boat down underwater. Celio, this is bad. How are you gonna get out of this one? Athena's words rang in my mind. Hold on to the pendant, and you will return to a location of your choice. I grasped onto the pendant and thought of home. I closed my eyes, hoping it would work. On days 80 to 82, I opened my eyes and reappeared in a dingy cave. The pendant worked, but where are we? This place looks sort of familiar. As I explored the cave, I realized that this was where I lived with my mother. It made me sad, but determined to finish what I started. I saw something shiny in the corner under the bed. I picked it up and found a golden key. Weird. What does this unlock? I made my way back to my treehouse and reunited with my allies. I'm back! I now have five of the six artifacts of the gods. It's almost time to complete the prophecy and save my mom and all of the other Medusas. Zeus will regret making us his enemies. Will you all help me finish this base and make it our true home? Of course! Yeah, anything for you, Cilio. With the help from Celeste, the Minotaurs, and Drake the Dryad, I finally wrapped up the construction of all the Medusa snake rooms. Thank you for giving me a new home, Cilio. I'm glad it is in the forest, the place where my home used to be. I hope you can one day return to home as well. I hope so too. Wait, we're missing someone. Where's Tiresias? On days 83 to 86, I found Tiresias in his room. Is that you, Celio? Yeah, I was worried about you these past few days. Is everything okay? Perfect timing. I was waiting on a vision to help you and I just received one. The final champion of the gods, Zeus's Sphinx, is waiting past the divine gate. You need to use a golden key to unlock the gate and progress up the mountain to find it. Wait, I found a key earlier. It was under my mom's bed in my old cave. That's perfect. You should go up to Olympus right away. There's no more time to waste. Farewell, Cilio, and good luck. Thank you for all your help, Tiresias. I will return when I've defeated Zeus. I approached the rest of my allies and told them that I was off to Olympus to find the champion of Zeus and complete the prophecy. Can I join you? I still need to rescue my siblings. Of course. Bron, Jason, Drake, I'll see you later. Farewell for now, my friend. Good luck, Celio. See you soon. I set off back to the base of the mountain to finish my epic quest. On days 87 to 89, Celeste and I saw the locked divine gate nearby, but angels were guarding it. I can distract the angels while you unlock the gate. We'll meet back up later. Okay, but don't get in too much trouble. I can't promise you that. Celeste made herself known to the angels. Hey angels, over here, come catch me. A Pegasus? 
come back here. While Celeste distracted the angels, I turned invisible using the Helm of Darkness. I snuck up to the gate and used my mom's golden key to unlock it. I hoped that Celeste would eventually find me, so I entered the realm of Olympus by myself. It was a very steep climb up the mountain. Every time I thought I was making progress, the road kept getting longer and longer. Eventually, I was getting very tired, and my feet were giving out. Celio, keep going. It'll be worth the struggle. I can't do this. I collapsed on the ground and blacked out. On days 90 to 93, I woke up on the back of a horse. This was no ordinary horse. It was my friend Celeste. Phew, you're awake. I managed to get rid of those angels and find you. I'm glad I showed up when I did. You looked exhausted. I thought I'd give you a lift up the rest of the mountain. I relaxed for the rest of the day and used the second to last charge of Hermes's wand in preparation for the final battles ahead. The Pegasus and I finally reached the edge of the clouds. There was an archway that read the city of Olympus. Here we are. But shouldn't there be a champion to stop us? You're right. Where is the Sphinx? As soon as I said this, a Sphinx suddenly stepped out from beyond the clouds of the city. Halt, mortal creatures. State your business. Are you the Sphinx of Zeus? That I am. State your business. I wish to defeat you in a challenge to gain your artifact. I see. Many have tried to earn the shield of Zeus, but none have succeeded. You have confidence in your abilities? I was ready for any challenge she threw my way. You must solve this riddle. Which is the creature that has one voice, but has four feet in the morning, two feet in the afternoon, and three feet at night? I had to think long and hard about what the answer to this riddle could be. No creature in the world had one voice, but switched feet throughout the day. Do you have your answer, young Medusa? I couldn't solve this riddle on my own. I needed guidance. Athena, please, I need your help. On days 94 through 97, I appeared in the Divine Dream Space once more. You don't need my help to solve this riddle. The answer to this riddle is you, Cilio. You were once a young Medusa who crawled into the darkness to escape the wrath of Zeus. Then you grew up and grew stronger. You stood on your own two feet and became a confident Medusa. And when you take on Zeus, you will hold the Staff of Dionysus and the Trident of Poseidon as your third arm. You have your singular voice to strike down the reign of the mighty King of Gods. You have the support of several other gods who agree with me. There must be consequences for Zeus's actions. Good luck, Cilio. Remember why you are doing this. I snapped out of my trance and found myself once again in front of the Sphinx. Sphinx, the answer to your riddle is me. I am this creature. Huh, that is correct. You have defeated me. I am quite surprised, young Medusa. By defeating the final champion, I grew as large as a god, and my petrifying powers grew even stronger. The Sphinx unleashed a large divine shield for me to take. This is Aegis, the shield of Zeus. It can shield you from his powerful lightning attacks. Wow, this will be very helpful. Celio, that's the final artifact. You may proceed into Olympus. Celeste and I passed through the clouds and arrived in the city of Olympus. I wish I could be of more help, but I need to go and rescue my siblings. I hope you find your mom, Celio. You've got this. You've helped me more than enough, Celeste. Good luck. As Celeste flew away, I set my sights on the Hall of Gods. On days 98 and 99, I entered the Hall of Gods. All of the gods sat on their thrones, including Dionysus, Hermes, Poseidon, Ares, Hades, and Athena. It can't be. He's here. The hero of the prophecy is here. Medusa. You're the one who defeated our champions! That's right, but I didn't do it alone. I had some friends on my side. You will pay for what you've done with your life. Brothers, get him! Without a moment's hesitation, Ares, Hades, and Poseidon rushed in at me and began to attack. Ah! 
Okay! Three against one? That's unfair! They didn't listen, though, and kept unleashing powerful abilities at me. Ares summoned a shockwave of flames using his sword. That did loads of damage to me. Hear the sounds of war, Medusa. This battle shall be your undoing. I swiftly dodged his strikes and did my best to fight back using the artifacts I had gathered on my journey, but his sword strikes were really strong. There's no way I can win this, unless I waited for an opening and then aimed my gaze at Ares, turning him to stone. Looks like your abilities have grown strong enough to turn gods to stone. But just then, I was hit by a torrent of blue flames. You've messed with the wrong god, Medusa. Bring it! I was able to evade the flames and wear down Hades. Trying to avoid my gaze, Hades sent a wall of flames my way. But I used Zeus's shield to guard me. Seizing the opportunity, I stared Hades right in his eyes, turning him to stone too. Finally, Poseidon summoned his trident and unleashed a powerful wave of water. But I refused to be overpowered. Give up now, boy, and I shall grant you a quick and painless death. I'm good, thanks. I used my own trident to subvert his water attacks and tried to strike him with my sword. I dodged and weaved through his watery onslaught and finally met eyes with the god of the seas. No, foolish mortal! I will have my revenge. As Poseidon turned to stone, the other gods arose from their chairs, ready to fight. Enough! Guys, you know this is wrong. Don't you see? This Medusa is helping us. His goal is to defeat Zeus. You defend this Medusa? Yes, Cilio is my champion. I have chosen him for a very specific reason. Brothers and sisters, don't you want to see some change in leadership? Isn't that what you all have wanted for so long? Zeus has held us and Olympus in an iron grip for centuries, and now we have a chance to take him down. Well, I don't like Zeus much nowadays either. Honestly, I've been kind of rooting for you all along, Cilio. Go forth, Cilio. Fulfill the prophecy. Thanks, guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go kill a god. On day 100, I entered the final chamber of the Hall of Gods. The mighty Zeus sat on his throne, and next to him was a large cage. Mom? Cilio! Zeus, we meet again. I'm here to finish the prophecy and defeat you once and for all. You think you can defeat me? I'm freaking Zeus! You underestimate me, just as I underestimated you. Touche. How do you want to finish this? I propose a one-on-one -on -one duel. Perfect. Let's settle it. I prepared for a long and tough battle. I first slashed at him a couple of times with the Sword of Ares, which easily cut through his heavy armor. Ah, I see you've collected the artifacts of my fellow gods. I then created vines to block myself from Zeus, so I had time to put on my invisibility helmet. Once Zeus blasted through the vines, I was nowhere to be seen. Instead, I had been sneaking around the wall of vines to a spot behind him. Gotcha! I struck Zeus hard from behind, knocking him into a nearby pillar. You little snake. That's what we are. Don't wear it out. Zeus threw another lightning bolt, which hit me. I had to use the healing wand to regenerate my hearts one final time before it vanished. Why are you still alive? You should be dead. I won't give up, Zeus. This is all your fault. This prophecy can't be undone. Zeus threw one massive lightning bolt, but I took out the shield just in time. The lightning bounced off the surface of the shield and hit Zeus right in the chest. Zeus fell to his knees. Medusa, this cannot be. You defeated me. The prophecy is complete. Release my mother. Ooh. All right, here. He tossed me the key to open the cage. Also, some of your god friends don't like the way you've been running things around here. I think in exchange for me sparing your life, you should put Athena in charge. Athena? I won't do that. Just then, Athena walked in to back me up. I think you should listen to him, Zeus. He's sparing your life. <sighs> Fine. I was getting tired of running things around here anyways. You can have your stupid throne. 
Just like that, Zeus vanished. I ran over to the cage and unlocked it. You did it, Cilio. I'm so proud of you, my son. You saved the day. Anything for you, Mom.